I'm feeling very happy in this moment. It's bicycle month, and I'm in this beautiful place with all of you nerds. In this photo, I'm also very happy because not long before this, I was probably sitting at my desk. And in a, in a very short time, I was able to get out into, the, into nature because I figured out a way to recharge my battery. Um, even though I love my role and cherish my role as a father and a husband and an proletariat at the university, um, my battery does drain on occasion. And um, I, I don't uh, have a inner practice like yoga or a special diet, but I certainly agree with Mr. Muir, who said that who has not felt the urge to throw a loaf of bread and a pound of tea in an old sack and jump over the back fence? I feel entirely in, in agreement with this, but I feel sad that Mr. Muir did not have access to Trader Joe's. He could have had some better food choices. Well, I want to tell you about the S24-0. The S stands for Sub 24-Hour Overnight Bike Excursion. Uh, the coin, the term was coined by a fellow named Grant Peterson, and this is something that can be done actually with or without a bike, with, on, your, on your own or with friends, but the basics is, is that you get out into wilderness and come right back home again. You might think, you know, you could do this with a motorhome or with my regular camping gear, but if you know the local campgrounds, that you often have to book yourself there a year in advance. And some of the, uh, the campgrounds cost up to $400 a night just up the coast to, to get away. So my goal is to get from my office chair out into nature in the fastest way possible. And when I feel the calling, I already start to de-stress and start to charge my battery. I start thinking about packing, in fact, I have to admit, in my garage right now, there are several bags filled with things ready to go out into a bike adventure. What do you need for an S24-0? A bike is helpful, and uh, a bike that you can carry things with. You can go, I've gone with as little as a bedroll and a can of sardines, but you also can, I've gone with as heavy as having a surfboard and snorkeling equipment. Um, so you just need to, to have a sense of adventure and maybe some friends to help you along the way or some experts. This is a photo of Grant Peterson of Rivendell Bicycle Works, who is sort of the founder or the uh, great spokesperson for the S24-0. But I like to rely on my friends. Some of them are here. They're expert uh, outdoor folks, and they give me great tips on what to bring and how to have a great overnight camping adventure. But this is the goal, which is to throw your leg over the steel frame of a bicycle and head out into nature. Those first moments of an S24-0 are so exciting because you're sort of pedaling away from the norm and getting out into an uns the uncertainty of an adventure. And that uncertainty might involve a flat tire. It might involve a broken chain. But don't you think that any adventure is not really an adventure unless something can go wrong? And what's great about the S24-0 is if you can't fix your chain, we have these modern devices where you could call your significant other, thanks Lori, um, who will come with a minivan and whisk you away. Um, this image reminds me of our cats at home who slowly turn on a warm place on the couch before settling in for the night. Um, and I love to look at these bike camping sites and try to pick the place that has the best view and a nice flat place to pop the tent. Um, it's uh, wonderful to find these sites. And if you want to get into this, our local campgrounds in Santa Barbara have these wonderful bike and hike camping sites that are usually the very nicest in the entire campground right in front of the ocean, and usually a, a walloping $15 per night. You'll probably be the only one there, but there might be a couple of charming Australians who are traveling the world uh, to join you. Great, great travels involve treasure, and to me, a view like this of Big Sur coming down from uh, the mountain is part of that treasure. Hearing the raindrops on your tent when your tent is not linky, leaking, that's another form of treasure. And my favorite treasure is laughter around the campfire. And we have a tradition with my friends that if you go on an S24-0, you need to bring something to surprise the other campers. Brett always wins with this enormous donut that he somehow produces from his bag and we caramelize over the uh, campfire. But other, other fun things are brought on these trips to delight and, and start the laughter. Well, views like this are amazing. From this particular place, I could see the roof of my house and the roof of my office at the same time, but with a different mindset, with a better perspective, and a gratitude of knowing that my old legs could still carry me to the top of a mountain to look down on my life. 
But before you know it, it is time to return home from an S24-0. And I try to also interrupt my routine when I head home by going a different route, maybe going through Isla Vista at 7 in the morning before any student is awake, or going through a neighborhood that I've never seen uh, before. And when I do come home, I often return to a full email inbox and my responsibilities. But if I went to Hawaii, I couldn't just jump right back on the jet and go back to Hawaii. I could if I, if I had the means. But with an S24-0, if you're feeling overwhelmed, you can get back on your bike or to strap a backpack on and jump back over the fence and head back out to repeat the adventure to continue the recharging of the battery. I can also look at images like this of my beautiful bike that I bought from a, a person who's here uh, today and, uh, and remember the great trips that I had and remember that I have the capacity to go out on an adventure that is just really uh, miles from my home address. I can also uh, think about the real estate that I've been able to acquire as an S24-0 adventure. Never could I afford a piece of land over uh, Big Sur like this. Never could I live on top of a mountain on a meadow um, looking out over with sweeping views of Santa Barbara. Um, but as a S24-0 adventure, I have this power. The best thing is my own children are interested in this sort of adventuring. My Jane, who's here tonight, is talking about going back to Santa Cruz Island to have her own adventure out of cell range. Um, and my um, uh, sweet Camille wants to go with me down to Carpinteria to have another great adventure. Aren't we lucky to live in this beautiful place where we can go on adventures like this? Thank you. Thank you.